Saturday, 2 March 2013, at the Upper Works Trailhead. A little after uh, 7 o'clock, and we're about to uh, ski in toward Calamity Pond, and then on and eventually toward Herbert Brook and Mount Marshall. And in our group we have James, Jessica, and Adam, and Tanner is up ahead. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Good old herringbone. Yeah. About three miles in the trail. Some great snow. Look at who's ahead, though. The commentator. I'm going to let Adam get ahead of me because his legs are long. The layer reset. Yep. Oh, there's a bridge over there. Have we gone this way before? Pretty good dip right there. Here we are at the flowed lands at about uh, 9.45, about four and a half miles in, and uh, we're going to go ski out there. Skiing out onto the flowed lands. Now climbing a stream bread up uh, is it Herbert Brook, I believe. Switched in the snowshoes. About halfway there. Yeah. James is taking over. Is he? 
He's doing that. <laughs> oh yeah. It's about uh, 12:40 now, and everyone is now up on top. Adam and Tanner are up here ahead of us, and we're on top of Mount Marshall. <laughs> and the Adirondack, 46 high peaks. Oh. How's everybody feeling at this point? Ready to eat something. Feeling good. Feel good. Just give we a high five. Conquered Mount Marshall. Give a high five to Marshall. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. The fun part coming down is always sliding or glissading. Sweet. It's a little after uh, 4 p.m. And we're back at the Upper Works Trailhead. Jess is signing our party back in. It's kind of cool to finish in the daylight. That was a fun outrun from uh, Float Lands. How was it for a winter pick? Perfect. Uh, ski, snowshoe, yeah. high peak. Cut a mile off from the floor like it's easy. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Before. And what happened all the way back? It was downhill all the way back. Smooth skiing. There were a few dangerous sections. A few, a few rough corners, yeah. <laughs> Some treasure <laughs> spots. Not too bad. Yeah. Tanner was bolting down the hill. It was funny. Tanner had the <laughs> habit of stopping in the middle of the trail. We were going about 30 miles an hour. Yeah. So I think James and I have learned from this trip that we both need to get some mittens. Mittens are outstanding pieces of For skiing, because my gloves got wet, they were cold, my hand, luckily stuff had warm hand warmers. Horse feathers. I would recommend not getting the built-in fingers so that you can do inserts. Yeah. And we're, what's on our mind right now is food, Lots and food. we're going to stop at Stewart's on the way back and get some ice cream and make some sundaes. And looks like those people that started way before us haven't gotten back yet. We I did well. Yeah, there are oh. definitely some people oh. who are staying up there. Yeah, um, easy. Oh, James, we'll get you out for a winter camp out one of these days. Uh, I got to build yeah, up my it makes a uh, big difference. It did winter experience here. I'll do a day trip. I don't know about the staying on As long as you have a good bag. I'll, I'll do it in the summer, spring, and fall. Winter, you're pulling my leg. I don't know. Adam and yeah. I have survived a few of them. Yeah. So that will partially. Yeah, partially survived. And we, uh, actually, we spent a bunch of them that are below freezing because we, well, Donaldson and Emmons got below freezing. Um, we didn't know if Adam was actually going to wake up for that one. I slept. I slept on the other no, Cliff, Cliff and Rightfield got below freezing too. Tanner was wet. Frozen dog. Boy, I forgot about that one. Yeah, there is right there. Tanner has passed out. He's going to be tired all the night. On my lap here. Such a good boy. He's a mountain dog for sure. Oh, it's a little bumpy. It's a little bumpy, so. What number was this for Tanner? Uh, it's, it's, yeah, he's into the 20s. It oh might have gosh. been 20. It might have been 20. That number is 20 right there. Um, I'll have to verify the records.